Hello Grey Group, it's my turn to read the story to you today, so listen carefully to how I read the story, when I change my voice, and if I pause at the punctuation. Okay, I'll be ready. The Invisible Clothes The Emperor of China loved to show off his remarkable silk suits. One day, a tailor came to see him. I have invented a wonderful new cloth, he said. If you like, I will weave some for you and make you the finest suit imaginable. The vain emperor said yes straight away. He gave the tailor six bags of gold so that he could buy the most valuable silk thread available in the city. The crafty tailor put the gold in his pocket. Then he said to the emperor, I haven't told you the best thing about this cloth. If a stupid person looks at it, it will seem to be invisible. Good, replied the emperor. When one of my servants looked at me in my new suit, it will be possible for me to tell if he is stupid. If he is, I can give him the sack. The next day, the emperor went to see how the tailor was getting on. Of course, he hadn't really bought any silk thread and the gold was still in his pocket. Let me show you the cloth I have already made, said the tailor, pretending to spread a length of cloth over a chair. Isn't it incredible? The emperor, of course, could see nothing, because there was nothing to see. He had a horrible thought. I, I, I can't see the cloth he said to himself miserably. That must mean that I am stupid. I'd better pretend I can see it. It's unbelievable, he said to the tailor. The next day, the emperor went to see the tailor again. I'm starting to make the suit now, said the tailor, pretending to measure the cloth. Just look at those colours. Unforgettable, like a rainbow, said the poor emperor. But I will probably need six more bags of gold, said the tailor, to buy needles that are suitable for such fine cloth. The next day, the tailor announced that the suit was ready and took it to the emperor's bedroom. He pretended to hold out the jacket and the trousers and the emperor pretended to put them on. Very comfortable, he said. I will march through the city in my new suit. So there was a grand procession. Everyone admired the emperor's new clothes. Nobody wanted to say that they were invisible. Then a small boy whispered to his father. But the emperor isn't wearing any clothes. His father repeated it more loudly. The emperor isn't wearing any clothes. Soon the whole crowd had taken up the terrible cry. The emperor isn't wearing any clothes. The emperor began to weep uncontrollably, but he had to finish his unbearable walk through the city as bare as the day he was born. Here we have the speedy green words grey group and I'm going to do it once for two seconds and then the second time I'm going to make it one second so it's much faster. Are you ready? Let's shuffle the words and start with this word for two seconds. Ready, steady, go.
Right, let's do that one more time, but this time we're going to do it for one second, okay? If one second's too fast, just go back and do the two second one again, okay? Ready, shuffle, one second, ready, go. That was quick, wasn't it? Let's do a two second one again. Ready, go. Fantastic, well done. Now I love these speedy green words because it's a bit like a warm up for your reading. A reading warm up. I'd like you to do your second read now. Now you know the story very well, you should become more fluent. That doesn't mean reading too fast. You've heard me read the story. I hope that you noticed that I paused just for a tiny second at commas and I paused at full stops to take my breath for the new sentence. I also changed my voice when the characters spoke. See if you can do that. If you want to, record yourself reading and send it to us on Tapestry or Google Classroom. Good luck, enjoy your second read. Right, Grey Group, are you ready for your second hold a sentence? Have your paper and pencil ready? Why did the Emperor feel miserable? Why did the Emperor feel miserable? Why did the Emperor feel miserable? Are we ready? So, did you write this? Let's check. So, why did the Emperor feel miserable? Capital W. Why did the Emperor, is it capital E? Emperor, like that. Emperor. Feel miserable and then that question mark at the end. How did you get on? Did you get it right? Make sure you tick or fix if you've made any mistakes. Well done great group, that is fantastic. I will see you tomorrow for your last read and we'll answer some questions and do some editing. Well done, everybody. Bye.